Hello again and welcome to uh, my electrical science channel. A few students asked me this week if I could do a little talk on uh, temperature coefficient. So don't be scared when you hear the word coefficient. This sounds like a posh maths term, but all a coefficient means a multiplier and it's a number that would be specific to that kind of material in engineering science. We see loads and loads of different coefficients uh, with temperature coefficients being one of them. Now what you'll see with the temperature coefficient, the formula they tend to use is RT, which is the resistance at a new temperature. So it's the temperature that you want to work out uh, is equal to RF, which is a resistance at a reference temperature. And one plus the Greek letter alpha, and the letter alpha will be the temperature coefficient for that material. A T, which is the material temperature at that point in time. And then the reference temperature, which is the reference temperature at which the coefficient is specified. So, so that's the formula. And using that formula, we can then determine the resistance of that material at any temperature. So let's have a look at it actually in use. So I prepared a question here. So if you want to write that down and then pause, you can. So it's a piece of copper wire with a coefficient value alpha of 0.004041 at 20 degrees C. So they usually specify the 20 degrees C or zero degrees C and that you will be told. Um, now this has a resistance of 5 ohms at 20 degrees C. Calculate the resistance if the temperature rose to 60 degrees C. So if you want to write that down for a second, and while you write that down, pause the film, and then I'll go through the calculation. Starting with our formula, RT is equal to RF 1 plus alpha T minus T ref. So all you have to do now to break this down is to start populating the numbers first. So we can say, change pens, one pens of it. So we can say, oh, T is equal to the reference resistance. So that's going to be 5 ohms. And 1 plus the alpha value. And we said that's 0 0.0041. at a temperature of, so we said it was going to be uh, do, 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 60 degrees minus the temperature reference and the temperature reference we said was 20 degrees. So now all we have to do is start breaking this down. So we can say RT is equal to 5 times 1 plus not point not not four o four one and then that would be multiplied by the this which is sixty minus twenty and sixty minus twenty is forty. So next step R T is equal to five times one plus Let's now calculate that. So, naught point naught naught four zero four one times forty, and that equals naught point one six one six four. Easy pep so far. So next step, RT is equal to five 
So 1 plus that answer. So we can leave that answer in the calculator and say plus 1. And that equals 5 times 1.16164. So now we can say our RT is going to equal, so the answer we already got in a calculator, times 5. And that equals 5.80. And it's a resistance, so the answer is going to be in ohms. That's quite simple, isn't it? When you look at it logically, in that format, it really is quite simple. So, with that in mind, what I want you to do is, like we've done previously, have a go at this question yourselves. So, that's a piece of nickel has a resistance of 5 to 5 ohms at 20 degrees C, calculate its resistance at 90 degrees C, the temperature coefficient is 0 0.005866. So pause the film and have a go at the calculation and I'll run through it. Let's start popping these figures in there. So we said our resistance total is going to equal our resistance reference, so that's going to be 525 ohms, 525 brackets, 1 plus alpha, and that we said for nickel is going to be 0 0.00, 0 0.00, 5866. And then we multiply that by the temperature, so that's the new temperature, and we said that's 90 degrees. Subtract the reference temperature, and we said the reference temperature is 20 degrees. So let's start breaking it down bit by bit. So RT is equal to 5 to 5. 1 plus 0 0.005866 and that'll be times 90 minus 20 is 70. So let's do that first. So RT, well let's do that now, is going to be 5 to 5 1 plus and then we'll do that math which is going to be 0 0.00 5866 times 70 which equals 0 0.41 62 so our t is going to equal 5 2 5, sorry my writing is going a little bit wobbly, times 1.41062, which will give me a resistance at that temperature. of 740.5 omega and that's how you do it I hope you found that okay that's how you do it that's how you break it down and I think if you take those steps you'll find that quite easy thank you very much uh, please subscribe if you like it and if you need me to go through anything, please comment. Thank you very much. Ta-da.